I take my personal hygiene very seriously. I feel like I needed to have a haircut. The funny thing is, you may be feeling the same way. Maybe you take your personal hygiene seriously, too. Maybe you'd like a haircut. But are you Lori Lightfoot? Okay, didn't think so. So shut up and get back to your smelly apartment. Stop complaining. And if you don't, you're a Nazi. Now, I've directed Superintendent Brown to order all police districts to give special attention to these parties. And this is how it's going to be. We will shut you down. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail, period. The time for educating people into compliance is over. Don't be stupid. Don't come out. Don't advertise on social media. We're watching you. Do the people of Chicago take Lori Lightfoot seriously? How did a, a buffoon like that wind up in the mayor's office? Lori Lightfoot believes she has the power to imprison you if you talk about your weekend plans on Facebook. How did she get the power to do that? Well, that's still not clear. What is clear is that Lightfoot has no intention of following her own rules, living by her own restrictions. We know that because Lori Lightfoot recently broke her own quarantine in order to, and this is real, get her hair done. She got caught when her hairdresser blabbed about it on social media, but perhaps not surprisingly, she didn't seem ashamed in the slightest. Unlike you, she explained, Lori Lightfoot has to look good. I'm the public face of the city. I'm on national media, and I'm out in the public eye. And, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a person who I take my personal hygiene very seriously. As I said, I felt like I needed to um, have a haircut. I'm not able to do that myself, and so I got a haircut. I take my personal hygiene very seriously. I feel like I needed to have a haircut. The funny thing is, you may be feeling the same way. Maybe you take your personal hygiene seriously, too. Maybe you'd like a haircut. Ordinary people disagreeing with the proclamations of the mighty. How is that even allowed? One CNN reporter whined on Twitter that too many people were going to a park that he liked. So when New York police swooped in to break it up, that reporter applauded. How dare they? It's my park. Please go away from each other and separate. Elizabeth, New Jersey is now using drones to spread the life-saving message. You are not immune to this virus. The drones make it easier for police to see into certain areas where access by patrol cars is more difficult. That includes tight spaces between buildings, behind schools, and in backyards. You don't need to be some crazed, wild-eyed civil libertarian with a goatee to find all of this pretty distressing. What's happening now is unprecedented, it's dangerous, and it's completely and unequivocally unconstitutional. It violates the letter and the intent of the Bill of Rights on many levels. And someday soon we will deeply regret letting all of this happen. If only we had someone now to protect us as our rights disappear. Oh, wait, we do. The ACLU. For more than 100 years, the American Civil Liberties Union fought for the civil rights of the powerless, which at this stage means you. You're the powerless. So where's the ACLU today? Well, they're playing along with the authorities. They're sucking up to power. They're joining CNN and telling you to shut up and obey. As freedoms vanish across this country, the ACLU has filed dozens of lawsuits, not on your behalf or on behalf of the Bill of Rights, but demanding mail-in voting to abet voter fraud, demanding the release of more criminals and illegal aliens. Their website boasts about this at length. But so far, it looks like the ACLU has filed only a single lawsuit in response to the mass quarantines, and it was in Puerto Rico. What's the message? The message is the ACLU is squarely on the side of your overlords now. 